Jess and Dicko, mm -hmm. and uh, they're going to perform a trick using Are the we? audience. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. What do you need us to do? Well, do you know what? I thought this time we've seen mentalists on TV uh, read the mind of the host, mm -hmm. or we've seen in the live shows them read the mind of the audience. So I thought tonight, or this morning, <laughs> we'd go a little bit further and attempt to read the mind of someone in the general public, or at least at home, maybe one of the viewers. Sound <gasps> easy? Okay. Excellent. Jess is going to take the ball in a moment. She's going to throw the ball very shortly into the audience, in our studio audience mm. here. If you have a phone that has speakerphone function, brilliant. If the ball comes near you, catch it, stand up and stay where you are. Jess, when you're ready, let's take that okay. ball Okay. and see how we go. Oh, and now I'm turning around so I don't know who I'm throwing it to. Excellent. Okay. Uh... Hey. Hey. Standing up there. Come on up. Come on up. Now, ma'am, what's your name? Carol, excellent. Carol, good memory. Uh, Carol, do you have a phone? You have a phone with you? Yes. Does it Yay. have speaker phone function? Pretty, you're halfway down, so let's hope so. Let's Fantastic. give Carol okay, a round of applause. Thank you, Carol. Come on down. Yeah, come down, Carol. Come on you're, down. You're, you're starring this. So you've got Carol's phone. Are you happy with We're just doing... having your phone, Carol? Yeah. Yeah, good. good, good now, good. do you mind if we put this on speaker function? No, We've got no. to put it on dial function as well, because we will be phoning someone, as I said, who's outside the studio oh. for the general public. So, so, where's your settings? Just, I'd say probably the one... That, yeah, there? that's the one. So we just yeah. need... Okay. I have no idea how it works. You've got no idea. <laughs> child in the audience. So it's on, let's see. Excellent. It's right. on plane mode, though. Oh, great. Would you kindly take it off plane mode? Otherwise, we're not going to get very far. In the meantime, let me explain how I'm going to make this random. We can get rid of the ball now. In a moment, Jess is going to open up the, uh, the white pages here. Jess, pay attention. You're going to be needing... Goodness. Excellent. You're going to open up the white pages like that. Mm -hmm. I will run my finger along the columns here until you do say stop. We will run the card down the columns until one of the numbers is chosen like that, OK? When you're ready, Jess, if you would kindly open up the white pages so anywhere. Right, We're just going to get... Uh, there we go. Okay. Sarah, right, we let Jess do this, but we love Sorry, her dearly, I'm but she's not technology. great with Excellent. technology. <laughs> OK, no, I'm opening any page. Like, not that one. I'm just kidding. That one's just fine. Oh, Jess, I'm going to slide my finger along here and not look of course oh, okay. you say stop any way you like I'm running out of phone oh, 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 we're oh, off the phone. Oh, oh, we'll try that again okay stop okay brilliant now of course to ensure this isn't stooge or anything like that we're going to run the card down there and you say stop any way you like down stop. here okay perfect good there now we do have a number here uh have you got your phone sarah's yep. got your phone i'll dial i'll sarah, dial sarah would you kindly punch in the number that we have just selected here do uh, i read it out uh, probably not on television okay. just to be just to be safe there'll be a million calls <laughs> sarah do you just enter that number there mm. once this call goes through i am going to announce who i am and where i am and i'm also going to ask for the studio owners to make some noise otherwise it's a very good chance I'll think this is a prank and hang up. Okay, Ooh, so, so we're ringing the number now. Okay, oh, put it on, on speaker speaker. phone. Yeah. Give it some there you go. Oh, I'll take this one. What if no one answers? <laughs> We've got a whole phone book here we can go through. <laughs> Hi, how are you? My name's Phoenix. I'm here on Studio 10 on Channel 10. Say hi to the audience. <laughs> How are you going? Oh, I'm good. Is this... You said this is Studio 10? That's right, it is, and you are live, so be careful what you say. We've just pulled your number at random out of the white pages here. What's your name? And a perfect, okay. And look, I'd be absolutely thrilled if you just do me a small favour here. It's nothing dangerous or anything of the sort. I'm going to be handing Dicko a bit of a, a, a. He's one of the hosts here. You know Dicko. There's a question mark on the front of the paper. In a moment, he will be opening that up and asking you three random questions. In the meantime, I'm going to take Jess's hand for a moment, mm -hmm. shape it into that of a microphone holder, and she's going to hold on to that for me. Brilliant. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Now, I can do this. I'm just going to gather a little bit of information about the kind of personality you are and attempt to jot down some things. I've already got. Uh, from the way you're talking, I've already got some information. That's wonderful. Uh, and I want you to uh, just think of a colour, any colour there is, and keep it in your mind. Have you got it? Uh, uh, yep, OK, yep. <laughs> right, straight off the bat, was that colour blue? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes? Excellent. Good, good, good. My heart is racing. Um, I'm attempting to gauge the personality in order for the latter part. Now, uh, and as well... Do you, you like cat Sam? <laughs> <laughs> we can come back to that one later. Sorry. We're going to have a long chat about the, uh, the feline category. Um, uh, and are you a sweet or savoury person? Uh, sweet. 
Yes, sweet, perfect. Okay, again, random question. And one final random question for you here, Anne. Uh, I want you to remember the time when you were a child and you had a fa uh, like a favourite stuffed uh, toy of some description. Whatever just jumped into your mind, I want you to uh, describe that now for me. Um, it, it was a purple stuffed hippo. A purple stuffed oh. hippo. Okay, brilliant. All right, now what I'm going to do, Dicko does have those questions. I will take the phone from Jess, and in turn she will take from me the answers the to the three questions that I have written down. Okay. Again, I will hand the phone to Dicko, and I'm going to take a step back and do a small black and white uh, painting in the background, which won't take long. Here's Dicko. Hi, Anne. How are you doing? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm a little overwhelmed at the moment. I really? <laughs> You're okay. doing very well, though. I've, I've got to, yeah, you are doing marvellous. Yeah. Uh, uh, now, um, do I ask these questions? Yes, yet? please do. Okay, question A, Anne. How old are you? Uh, I'm 24. <gasps> so, will I, let yeah, me take see if that's. Take off A. Oh! oh. oh. Phoenix okay. gets that right. Oh! Whoa! Well, go on, Anne. Question B, you ready? Yeah. What is your occupation? Uh, I'm a nurse. <laughs> oh, no, you picked it. You always tell OK, you. one more. Question C, and this is incredible. What was the name of your favourite childhood stuffed toy? Why didn't you mention earlier? Um, Freddy. What? <laughs> Freddy? Freddy. <laughs> God! Phoenix has written down all of those answers. Now, now, that, look, wow. are you there? Yes. OK, look, you did really well. Three out of three, not bad. Uh, look, I'm absolutely going to scream at this next bit if you get this correct. But um, <laughs> when I say go, the image of a celebrity will just pop into your mind. And as it does, I mean, this could be an actor, a musician, or anyone throughout all of history. When, when you're ready, I want you to think of that celebrity now and let me know when you've got them. You've got one? Perfect. On the count of three, yeah, yeah. you will reveal who that was. But beforehand, uh, is there any particular reason why you thought mm. this particular celebrity? Just stand forward, you can answer. Okay. Uh, why? I don't know. It's the first person that popped into my head. First, okay, on the count of three, I want you to say out loud who that celebrity was. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, Michael Jackson. Did you hold that for me? Let's see what. And a perfect, okay? And look, I'd be absolutely thrilled if you just do me a small favour here. It's nothing dangerous or anything of the sort. Uh, I want you to remember the time when you were a child and you had a fa uh, like a favourite stuffed uh, toy of some description. And I'm going to take a step back and do a small black and white uh, painting in the background, which won't take long. Here's Dicko. Okay, look, you did really well. Three out of three, not bad. Uh, look, I'm absolutely going to scream at this next bit if you get this correct. But um, when I say go, the image of a celebrity will just pop into your mind. And as it does, I mean, this could be an actor, a musician, or anyone throughout all of history. When, when...